Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English News of Bình Phước radio, television station and newspaper. Following other headlines as usual. Bình Phước's aim for 9% GRDP is grow by 2030. Bình Phước focuses on job creation and workforce development. National Assembly concludes the eighth section. Vietnam's internet economy projected to hit 36 billion dollar in 2024. And now other detail. Following the resolution of the 11-party Congress of Bình Phước for the 2020-2025 term, the province has maintained high economic growth with an average annual growth rate of over 9%. Bình Phước continue to target an average GRDP growth rate of 9% from now to 2030. The economic structure in Bình Phước continues to shift towards increasing the share of industry and construction to around 54%, that of trade and services to about 35%, while the ratio of agriculture, forestry and fisheries will decrease to approximately 11%. Notably, the digital economy is expected to contribute 30% of the GRDP. The province aims for a GRDP per capita of $180 million, about $7,500, an annual labor productivity growth rate of 7%. The middle range rankings in national indexes such as PCI, PAPI, PAR Index, and ICT Index. To meet these targets, I suggest being full focus on developing green industries, attracting investment, improving urban and social infrastructure, and transitioning to a circular agricultural model that leverages value chains. Additionally, Investment in transport infrastructure, industrial zones, workforce quality, and digital transformation is essential for sustainable, rapid economic growth. Bình Phước will revise its digital transformation goals, striving to be among the country's top five leading provinces by 2030. Bình Phước Party Secretary Tôn Ngọc Khan revealed the plan following a working session between the Provincial Party Committee, the People Committee, and the Ministry of Information and Communication. Over the past three years, Bình Phước has significantly improved its digital transformation ranking, moving from 25th in 2021 to 9th in 2022 and 12th in 2023. The digital economy now contributes about 10% to the province's GRDP. According to the Minister of Information and Communications, digital transformation brings numerous benefits, such as reducing costs and addressing major issues like income inequality, rural-urban development gap, and transportation challenges. Therefore, the province should aim for higher goals and new approaches. Specifically, the province should target a 13% GRDP growth rate rather than the initial 10% and becoming a digital transformation model for the nation with a place among the top five provinces in this field by 2030 instead of the original goal of being in the top 10. In recent years, Bình Phước has made significant efforts in addressing employment, vocational training and workforce development, contributing to improving living standards and boosting the local economy. Since the beginning of the year, the province has created jobs for nearly 46,000 laborers, including job creation through vocational training for about 12,000 local residents, and attracting nearly 10,000 workers from outside the province. The province has also focused on workforce development by recruiting students for vocational schools and providing career counseling for nearly 6,000 students at 11 local junior and senior high schools. Additionally, various short-term vocational training programs have been held, focusing on agriculture, 
technology, mechanics, and services. Notably, Bingfeng has worked closely with local businesses to develop training programs that align with actual market needs. This not only helps workers improve their skills, but also facilitates job placement, supporting sustainable poverty reduction and socio-economic development in the province. Ladies and gentlemen, the 15 National Assemblies concluded its the exception in Hanoi on November the 30th. More details are in the following report. At the closing session, which saw the participation of leaders and former leaders of the party and state, Secretary General and Head of the National Assembly Office, Le Quang Tung, presented the draft resolution of the 8th session. Accordingly, at this session, the National Assembly passed 18 laws and 21 resolutions, while giving initial comments on 10 draft laws. Notably, the legislature has passed a resolution on the investment policy for the North-South High Speed Railway project, with 443 out of 454 deputies voting in favor. In his closing speech, National Assembly Chairman Trun Thank Mun affirmed that, after 29.5 working days in a serious, scientific, democratic and highly responsible manner, the 8th session of the 15th National Assembly had completed all the contents of the proposed agenda. The National Assembly acknowledged and highly appreciated the determination, tireless efforts and effective innovations in the direction and administration of the government, as well as the active participation of localities, the chairman said. Amid various difficulties and challenges facing the country, including unexpected natural disasters, storms and floods, the above efforts and determination have helped the country basically complete the socio-economic development tasks in 2024, the top legislator emphasized. Vietnam's e-commerce and digital economy remains highlight of the country's socio-economic development. The Internet's economy will reach $36 billion this year, marking a 16% increase compared to 20 and 23. Retail e-commerce continues to be a key pillar of Vietnam's digital economy, contributing $22 billion US dollars to the country's GDP, 18% higher than the previous year, accounting for 61% of the total size of the Internet economy, experts said. According to the ninth edition of the Economy Southeast Asia report released by Google, Temasek, and Bain and & Company, Vietnam's high growth rate is expected to remain stable, driven by its manufacturing, processing, and export. By 2030, the gross merchandise value, GMV, is projected to range from 90 to 200 billion US dollars, reflecting the ongoing expansion of Vietnam's digital economy and e-commerce market. In 2024 and the years ahead, with such robust growth, Vietnam's e-commerce and digital economy are poised for even stronger development, becoming one of the key drivers of economic growth. The master plan for Long An province for 2021-2030 with a vision to 2050 set the goals of marking Long An a dynamic, efficient and sustainable economic center in southern Vietnam by 2030. And by 2050, Long An aims to become a leading industrial province in the country and one of the key ground poles in the Mekong Delta region. As the gateway on the urban industrial economic corridor of the Mekong Delta, closely connected to Ho Chi Minh City and the southeast region, Long An has been organizing its socio-economic activities under the model of one center, two economic corridors, three socio-economic zones, and six development axes. Tanan City serves as the political and administrative center, and a nuclei city of Long An, as well as a satellite city of Ho Chi Minh City. It is envisioned as a hub for commerce, services, and high-tech industries in the region. To become a key growth pole in the Mekong Delta, Long An is focusing on industrial innovation, enhancing productivity, and improving competitiveness. The province also aims to position its service sector on par with middle-developed provinces in the southeast region.
Long An is leveraging its unique strengths and advantages to achieve rapid and sustainable socioeconomic development. The province prioritizes building a modern and integrated infrastructure system, accelerating progress in areas with favorable conditions to drive overall growth, and maintaining a balanced approach to urban and rural development. That's all for today on the news of Benfield Radio Television Station and Newspaper. Once again, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.